Painting 101. I am hopping on today with another fun, easy Halloween rock. Whether you love to eat candy corns or not, they make really cute, adorable trick-or-treaters. So I'm going to be making another one of these little trick-or-treating candy corns. He's got his own little trick-or-treating bag. He's waving hi. They're pretty adorable. I have a whole series of these that I've been doing, so um, if you're following along the page, I'll be posting them as I get them up on the website. So hello, everybody coming in. Hello, Janine. Hello, Terry. Hello, Shirley from California. Thanks for joining in, guys. Um, now, this guy is pretty simple to do. Um, you don't have to have paint pens for these if you've got your the paint colors at home. The only um, one that I think makes this a lot easier is having at least a uh, black pen for your outlines. I'm not great doing outlines with brushes. Um, and I'm glad you found the page, too. I'm glad you found us. So first thing we're gonna do is start by just getting our basic shape onto our rock. Just a nice, tall, round edge triangle. Now I'm doing this one on a lighter rock. I did one on the darker rock. I just wanted to show kind of, depending on what you've got, it will look good on anything. Just rounded edge. Now, even though you don't see the dividing lines, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself guidelines just for filling in. Hello, Missy, hello, Mary, hello, Jenny. So I'm, if you look at a candy corn, the orange in the center is quite a bit bigger than the base and the tip. So if you give yourself some guidelines, it will just help when it's time to come fill it in with your colors. So I'm just gonna start with that and we're gonna get down our first base of color. Just because um, depending on the rock that you're painting on, the lighter colors sometimes will take a little bit more. Um, like on here I did two coats of the yellow and the white. On this light colored rock I might not need to. Just kinda depends. Like that. And I will go over the black line here with my orange, but we're gonna do our yellow and white first, whether that's drying. And then we'll go back over with our orange and cover up that line. Just on like so. And that covers pretty good on the white rock, but it might need a little bit more. And then we're gonna go in with our orange and fill in the rest. There we go. And I love using my paint pens, but this is definitely something that you can do with your regular paints you've got. If you don't have paint pens, I just can get through the whole rock a lot quicker because they'll dry between layers for me real quick here while I've got you watching live. So I'm going to go all the way up to that black line and cover that black line like so. And then when I do my second coat there, you won't be able to see it at all. It's a little wet, so I pulled a little bit of it in. That's okay. So we've got our basic candy corn. And we're going to go in and add his arms. What did I do with my black there? His arms, his legs, and his little trick-or-treat bag. So I like having one arm waving. You can do whatever you want with the arms. I'm gonna have uh, his bag on the opposite side on this one. So for the bag, I'm gonna go right out the side here, give him a little hitch for an arm. A really simple bag, just a handle and a little bag. And then his little legs here. Like so. And then we'll give him an arm on the other side, try to come out on the same spot on the candy corn, kind of across from itself. And give him some fingers, like so, it's waving high, or maybe bye to somebody. And then I'm gonna, to make my foot a little bit more three-dimensional, I'm just gonna kind of go back over it and round it off just a little bit. Like so. Now I'm going to go back and add in our bag here. I'll make a different bag for this one. Give you another idea of something you can do. We're going to fill it in with orange here. And then 
we'll go back and decorate that in a little bit as well. Let me just set my cap down. Oh, there it is. Losing everything today. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, now I'm going to go back over my, my base colors just a little bit more, um, just to make that yellow really pop. It will be a little bit brighter when it dries if you give it a second coat. Um, just a big thing to remember when you're using second coat, don't push so hard that you're possibly moving that first one, especially if you're going at it fairly quick like I am. I'm going to go a little bit more on that white. The white looked pretty good, but it doesn't hurt. We're not going to paint anything else there. And then we're going to go with our orange one more time. Right on there. Cover up along that bottom because I kind of went right next to that line. I think I pulled a little bit of that in. There we go. Like so. Okay. Now, while that's drying a little bit, what we can do is go along the outside of the actual candy again, um, just to give it a nice crisp edge. Some places it might have gotten a little bit of color onto your outline, like so. In the outline of our bag here too. Now for this bag, I'm just gonna give them a cute little face. So it'll be like a little pumpkin bag. Like that. There we go. I gotta wait just another moment there for my orange to dry up all the way before I put in my face. Um, while that's going, um, in case anybody, I've been really bad about mentioning what size of pens I've got. Um, I'm just using the 1M for my outline. All the inside stuff have just been the 3Ms. If all you have is a set of 1Ms, you could definitely do this with that. I probably use this liner pen more than anything else that I've got. So let's see here. It looks like it's pretty dry. I still have a little bit of darkness there that I'll probably touch up once I get my face on from where I pulled that black in. So if you're working on these at home, give yourself plenty of dry time between your layers. I'm gonna go ahead and add on my face. Now I always like to make these faces, you know, I've got the arms almost coming out right out of the side of his head. So you just wanna give yourself two good eyes and I, I do mine wide set. So kind of place the pen and just kind of wiggle it in a circle. Like so. And we're gonna let that dry all the way. And we're also gonna add our little smile in between the eyes. And you can do these with any style of face that you like to do. I just really like this cute look for these. Now the last touch that you need really kind of, like I like to say brings the cuteness factor up a notch is your highlight. So I'm gonna let that black dry completely. I was just looking around for my white pen and it's conveniently right here. So as soon as that um, black dries completely, we go in and add our little highlight. And this guy will be finished. And oh, look at you can see a sneak peek of another one of my characters <laughs> from uh, this series. Um, if you're joining in a little bit later, I've got a whole series of these cute little trick-or-treating candies that we're gonna be going through over the next couple weeks. So um, make sure that you're following along with the page on Rock Painting 101. You can turn on notifications as well to get live notifications by hitting the little three dots in, I think, the upper right-hand corner. So all I'm going to do is do one light, light little dot. You can always dot it again if you want it thicker. Or just start with a dot. Don't try to swirl. Just like so. And I wiped off in between just in case that black left any behind because I did go to it pretty quick. But that's it. And these two little buddies are ready to go out trick-or-treating and, you know, get a bunch of candy corns and yummy little treats. So thanks, everybody, for joining in live. Thanks, Donna. I know they're super cute. I When I finished my first one, I was like, so excited to share with you all these. So um, they're lots of fun to do. They're pretty quick and easy. And if you... 
create one of these little guys, make sure to come back and leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you all soon.